Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's How To Tuesday. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some of my top tips about how you can up level your energy. So often we struggle to pick ourselves back up after we've had a bad day or a bad hour. We feel tired and then it demotivates us and we just don't feel our best. These tips are simple and easy for you to put into your everyday life to up level your energy. Tip number one, you need to learn something new every single day. This doesn't have to be complicated. It could just be listening to a podcast, reading five pages of a book, watching a YouTube video. But every single day, you need to commit and show yourself that your knowledge and expertise is the priority. And the more you can value yourself and your knowledge, the better you're going to feel. So learn something new every single day. Number two, this was a really hard one for me personally, but you have to spend time with just your thoughts. Every single day you need to try and allow at least five minutes just for yourself. For you to sit, you could meditate, you could journal, have a bath, go for a run. You need time alone with your thoughts until you can become really comfortable with your thoughts and the way your thinking works it's going to be really hard for you to up level your energy if you aren't listening to yourself listening to that inner voice and listening to your intuition so i really do advise and i really hope of all of the tips that this one leaves you with the strongest message learn more about how you think learn more about your inner voice and learn more about what your emotions are saying to you when you know that and you have that awareness, you're going to be able to break that cycle of negative thought habits, negative self-talk, and boost and up-level your energy. Number three, deep breathing. Your breath is the most powerful tool that you all have. You breathe every second of the day, but we don't do it consciously. So right now in this video, we are going to take three deep breaths together. All I want you to focus on is filling your lungs to the, big, the biggest amount you possibly can. And when you release, giving it as much power as possible. Allowing your shoulders to relax, your mind to relax. Allow your breath to do what it really should be doing. Fuel your body with energy. It's a priceless gift that we all have, but we just don't do it consciously. So three deep breaths in and powerful deep breaths out. And I just want you to think about how that makes you feel and how long it takes. It doesn't take long to breathe and honor your body and your brain. We need oxygen to up-level our energy and make ourselves feel better. I feel better already. <laughs> it's such a nice feeling just giving your body the breath that it needs even now I feel better listening to the birds knowing that I've given myself that tiny slice of time to just breathe and be in my body be your future self right now this tip is all about your mindset visualization and manifestation and the law of attraction you have to be focusing on your future self, who you want to become, who you want to be, and why you want to be that person. And as much as you can every single day, try and embody your future self, why not? If you're trying to up-level your energy, up-level your energy with amazing potential. There is no limit to who you are, what you can achieve, and who you can become. So do not focus on today's circumstance for tomorrow's feelings. Let yourself embody and embrace the future you, who you really want to be. Please allow yourself the time to think, sit, and just feel into who you want to become, who you want to be, why you want to be that person, and then spend time in those thoughts, in that energy. That will up-level your energy without a doubt. And my final top tip about how you can up-level your energy is to release what doesn't serve you. This is a hard tip, and don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you're going to be able to do this overnight, but you have to start thinking, what brings you down? Who brings you down? When do you feel like you can't shine brightly? When are you playing small? When are you trying to fit in so that other people don't feel uncomfortable with how amazing you are? When are you doing all of those things? And you need to start releasing from that. You need to change those habits. You need to change those relationships and put barriers in place so that it doesn't affect your energy. You shining and being amazing 
and stepping into who you want to be should never be compromised by the people you spend time with, the places that you go, and the energy that you're around. So if you want to up-level your energy, you are going to need to release what doesn't serve you. And I still have to do this every day. It isn't easy, but it's something you need to commit to, and it's a lifelong process. Changing and self-development and growing as a person takes your whole life for you to constantly evolve and grow, but you have to give it your very best shot. So when things don't serve me, when I don't feel great, I make sure I acknowledge that and I think about how I can release it. Is there forgiveness to be done? Is there just simple detachment? Is there space and time that you need? How can you start to protect your own energy in order to up-level it? Please do not lower your energy, your thinking, your actions and behaviours to fit in and suit other people's comfort zones. Release what doesn't serve you. I really hope these five top tips have helped you in the most simple, easy ways to up-level your energy. We all have these tips available at our fingertips and in our breath every single day. So use them, utilize them, and up-level your energy right now. I can't wait to see you in the next video.